Okay, all right, this is Strip. We're at day one of AVN. We're here with Dana D'Armand. Hi! And we're also at Girlfriends. Girlfriends Films. Girlfriends Films. Now, you do a lot of films for these guys. Yeah, um, also, Girlfriend just started doing a boy-girl line uh, with Scout Digital. With no way. Disco. Yeah, and I'm nominated for Best Supporting Actress for their first one, Wala. For this year, the AVN Award? This year, yeah, this year. So you, you're going to be up there going, where's my shit? <laughs> uh, hopefully I'll win, but, you know, I won't be too disappointed if I don't. But I did win last year for Best Girl Girl, and so that's probably why Girlfriend's Films is, like, putting up with me. I'm good at, you know, romancing ladies. Well, that's a good. Uh, I, okay, so teach me. Oh, I don't know. It's it's. <laughs> I, I don't know if I could teach you. All right. Some people are lost cause. I don't know. It's something that you just feel. It's a feeling. I don't. I don't feel it. I don't feel it. Going to get in trouble for indecent exposure. Yeah, no. 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 <laughs> no. 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 We're Lewd behavior. No, I'm too old for that. <laughs> You're never too old for lewd behavior. What are you talking about? Well, I'm not old enough to wear the trench coat and hang around weird places, you know? I would do that. I have a trench coat at home. Have you ever done that? No. I have. I mean, not yet. Okay. I will. I'll okay. get around to it. Let us know. So we'll be there. I like to wear skimpy outfits, like with a big coat, and then be like, ta-da. Here's your scoot in. Oh. Scoot in. You don't want to talk to me? No, I want to talk to you. Okay. What do you want to talk about? How long have you been in the business now? It's my ninth year. No way. Yeah, I started in 2004. I remember you started back on MySpace, right? Yeah. I used to be a, a big deal on MySpace, and then like MySpace stopped being cool. MySpace stopped being a big deal. Why did they do that? But you know, Twitter is like the new thing. And Facebook. Fuck Facebook. I hate Facebook. Did you see what they just did? No. They have like Match.com on Facebook. Stupid. I know, I know. See, I only use Facebook to talk to my real family, and so if they Match.com'd me, they would like make me date my brother, but he's already married or something. I don't know. I don't know how it works. I hate Facebook. That's inbred films. That's not girlfriend films. <laughs> Sorry. I don't know Wrong company. We, I don't know if we're allowed to do that. No, I don't think so. It's not legal in this state. Uh... <laughs> You're cracking me up. Oh, I'm sorry. I'll stop. Um, yeah, so I'm nominated for Performer of the Year for the third time this year at a the Avian Award. That's his overall Performer of the Year? Yeah, because I'm wow. awesome. I'm really good at performing. And well, you got to be good at something. <laughs> I'm good at everything, in my opinion. I'm excellent at everything. Awesome, awesome. Um, <laughs> We're also promoting the new movie. It did not come out in time for this year's nominations, but next year you're going to hear a lot about this movie called Paint. Starring Paint. me. Paint. Paint. Oh, paint. Like paint. Paint. Painting. Oh, like paint the walls. Paint. Painting art. Do you paint bodies? I, I play an artist. There gets, I get paint all over my body. I'll watch that. Uh, so Paint, starring me and Chastity Lynn. Oh, nice. She's awesome. Nice. She and I are nominated for Best Girl Girl Scene this year for a Belladonna Entertainment movie called Fetish Fanatic 10, which is awesome. We have really super good chemistry, so I think people should pick up paint because I think it's going to sweep next year's awards. So you heard that first, early. Get it, paint early. It's an early prediction. Early prediction. We're already making predictions for 2014. Yeah, you, you know, it's never too early to toot your own horn. So being in the industry for so for a little while anyway, more than so more than most people. You're gonna say for so long. I figured I'd be nice and not say that. In porn years, I'm like 800 years old. Exactly. I'm like this close to being a Hall of Famer. You only have to be in for 10 years to be in the Hall of Fame. You're almost there. That's an actual rule. You're almost there. So I'm like this, like I can make it. Next year. I, they might wait for a while. Why wait? You're good at everything, remember? Right, but you know, I... You don't want to make it look rigged or anything. I'm, yeah, exactly. Okay, I get you. What do you plan on doing for the next year, then? I'm going to keep making lots of dirty movies for all my fans to watch. Well, that's perfect. Yay, yeah, we like that. What, what are you going to do this week at the ABA? week, I am signing here at Girlfriend's Films. I'm doing all this press. Because they trust me for some reason to talk into a microphone, which is 
very brave of them. It is brave. I love this company. I love everybody here. They treat me very nicely. I got a, I got a room with a bathtub, and if you follow me on Twitter, you know how much I like taking baths. Bubble baths? No, just I just like to make Dana soup. I just steep in the warm water. You could sell that on eBay. You know that. I should. I need to like really think about, you know, my revenue revenue streams and the selling my bath water might be the next thing. Right. Um, I'm doing the Naughty Show podcast. I I host a podcast on the Death Squad network. Death oh, okay. Squad, yeah, yeah, yeah. TV. They also have the Joe Rogan experience. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. They have all these different podcasts. Mine's called Triple X Squad. I interview adult stars on there. We're having a Naughty Show podcast this Thursday at Vinyl, and so I'm going to be one of the guests on that. Oh, nice. So a lot of my comedian friends from L.A. have come out to the show to hobnob with us sluts, and it's great. They're worse than us. I will tell you that as a fact. They are dirty. I, 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 I have a challenge. I don't know who can drink more, a comedian or a porn star. Oh, I don't know. I can barely drink. I don't, I don't even drink. I'm not saying every porn star drinks, but... You know, it's there's quite a few because, to like, do. Half, half and half, like, half the comedians I know are always drunk or they're completely stone exactly. sober. Exactly. And Either I feel or. like porn stars are kind of the same way. Most of the girls, you know, because you you have to, like, keep it together and not look sloppy. Right, right. I think a lot of the girls don't drink that much. I mean, porn star guys, though, some of them would just drink all the time. Right, but all the comedians I need, I know are either drunk or they're in rehab. Completely sober. It's either one or the other. Yeah. I don't know. I love the comics. I, I do, too. I do, too. Time. I don't want to give them a hard time. They're they're all really great. It's a tough job. It is a tough job. You know, people heckle you and shit. Yeah, you know? I, they don't heckle you, dude. Somebody came up to my work, and I was, like, trying to get fucking, hey, fuck better. You know? Like, that doesn't happen. Like, I feel bad for comics. You've never had anybody come up and say, you know that last film? Got all the cock you can take. What are you doing? I was jerking it, I and I almost came, but I couldn't quite come. Yeah. Could you make it a little better? Sounds like a you problem, not a me problem, right? So you got to be nice to the comics, even though they're deranged and they're all weirdos. Now, do you have any weird fans that come here and ask you to sign weird shit? No. Like, actually, I worked at Disney World when I was really young, and so I had like, this training where um, you're not supposed to sign currency, national flags, um, Dicks. Anything? No, I don't. I don't like to sign people. You're not supposed to sign it on their body, especially if they're going to get it tattooed on them. That's a nightmare for me. Um, I would never want that. Yeah, I can cash your checks. Look, I got her signature right here. I do a fake signature. I mean, a little, a little insider info there. Porn star trick right there. Fake yeah. signature. I don't, I don't sign. Even though it is my real name, I don't sign my real signature. I sign you have a, autograph. you have a stunt signature. I do, just in case. I don't want to get frauded. Nice. That's again, awesome. again. Oh, oh, haven't we all? Oh. <laughs> so what, what do you, what do you think about the state of the industry right now? You know, for me, it's going pretty good. I like okay, it. so who cares about anything else? <laughs> yeah, fuck everybody. Okay, we're good. We're bye. No, See ya. No. no. <laughs> um, like, I, w I would recommend people try to get into porn right now. Because, like, that's the, one of the questions I get the most. Like, what would you tell a new girl? I would tell her not to get in the business at all. It's, it, there's no guarantees in this business. There's not. The pie is much smaller, and you're getting much smaller pieces of it. I'm very fortunate that I got in when people were still making a lot of money doing gonzo porn. Piracy hadn't fucked up everything, you know, um, and I was able to make a name for myself over a lot of years. But, you know, it's just every, every now and then there's like maybe one new girl that she's like the sensation and everybody else just kind of gets like brushed to the side and, you know, Unless, I don't know, unless It's like there's only like five stars that are allowed to be stars, you know? Yeah, there's like not enough pie to go around for everybody. The pie is much smaller than it was in the early I like film. a tight pie. Is that good? Yeah, tight pie is the best. Girlfriend's Films, tight pie. All right, anything else I forgot? Um, people should follow me at Dana D. Armand on Twitter. And uh, Computress on Instagram is my secret handle. Uh oh, uh oh. So how do you spell Dana Diarmond so they, they get it? D A N A D E A R M O N D. But they should know that because Dana Diarmond is a household name. Because she's good at everything, you should know that. She's in Google. 
Check her out. I'm in Google. Thank you so much. Thank you guys. All right. All right. Thank nice you so much. To see you. Let me get a picture of your